everybody welcome back to the channel all right we're going to do a nice ink background today in small victories by johanna bassford because the other day i showed you guys how to use masking fluid in coloring books um, so basically i've already laid down my masking fluid i use the liquitex one at the moment i usually use the winsor and newton one um, but my local art shop didn't have any left when i went in to get it so i'm trying out the liquitex um, and yeah it's pretty much the same thing anyway so I'm not too fussed about it when it does dry it does give this yellow appearance which is makes it easier to see where you've put it as well um, it does feel kind of sticky to the touch at first but um, yeah it's not an issue really at all so what we're going to do today is use our memento dewdrop inks to create like a galaxy kind of background I've got this idea like it's a floating um, house or a floating island kind of thing so yeah, going to roll with a bit of a galaxy background. Now, I did in, um, what was it? Uh, Tales from Atlantis do, I'll show you guys how to use the masking fluid. So if you go back to that previous video, you'll be able to see how I um, use the masking fluid to cover the picture. So yeah, I'll see if I can link that one. I haven't really played with linking things yet, but I might be able to link it in. Um, otherwise, it's the previous one. So yeah, let's get started. So today we're using, like I said, the Memento inks, um, which just look like this. They are going kind of dry, so I'm hoping I'll get enough out of them. Um, for the applicator, I am using the little um, ink pad applicators, but I also use, I got one here, yeah, um, these makeup brushes as well. Um, I've only really just started experimenting with these. I, I don't mind them. I do like that you can change that Velcro pad so I can change out the colors as I go without having to rinse the brush off every time, which is nice. So yeah, let's get started, I guess, um, on our background. So first thing I'm going to do is pop a piece of paper behind so it doesn't go um, over onto the next page if I accidentally kind of lift it. The next thing I will do is also pop on some washi tape on the other side, just so it's not rubbing up on the other picture. So just kind of line that up. Yeah, just so it's not pushing up on those sides. There we go. Okay, so for the first color I'm going to go in with is black. So I do like to go in with my darker colors and then fill in with my lighter colors. Um, the other thing I find is I do sometimes need to do two layers depending on the paper, how absorbent it is um, and how much ink I've got left in my ink pads. So basically I just rub it onto the ink pad to transfer that ink. Now being a little bit dry it's going to be a bit interesting. I might actually just work in sections um, so I know it's going to be. And then all I do is I start to rub the ink onto the page. Now the only thing with these ones compared to the makeup brushes is you do get a little bit of that circling um, which is where I'll kind of come in and do the two layers as well which will kind of hide that as well so yeah um, but I do like doing these kind of backgrounds they're nice and quick nice and easy I find the most time consuming part is getting that masking fluid on but even then you know I put a movie on it's nice and enjoyable I kind of just chill um, while I'm doing it so Yeah, it might be a bit bumpy guys, I'm sorry, it's a bit hard to um, get that ink on without being a bit bumpy, because I'm trying to work quickly. So yeah, I'll kind of start working those circles. 
So next I'll go in with like my next darkest, which would be the dark blue or a purple. Again, oops, I just realized I've used oh, the black one. Anyway, let's change it over quickly. So I'd pretty much just pull that off and we'll put my other one on like that. And then yeah, keep working that work. Again, still working in circles. Yeah, just building up your layers pretty much. The same as like I would do um, with my pencils or near color too. Now the good part about having the um, masking fluid on as well is that I can go in, you know, with my gold glitter spray or um, white ink to do like your stars if you want as well, um, all of that good stuff. So it makes it a lot easier um, to get that on it as well. So if you remember, if you're like me and forget, that's yeah, <laughs> it can be a pain in the butt. But anyway, let's go to purple now. So I've just swapped over again. Now I think my purple was the one that was drying out. So we'll see how we go. Again. Now the quicker you work, it's not going to be as dry on the paper, um, and I'll be able. You can actually blend the colours a little bit better because they're still wet. So if you work quickly, especially when you're doing a large area like this, if it's small areas, it's not too bad. It doesn't dry as fast. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to work. I would say yeah, quite efficiently. So there's obviously all different types of inks that you can use as well. Um, these ones aren't the water-based ones, I think, where you can actually like splash water droplets on it and it will you know, give a cool effect. These you can't do it with, um, which is a bit disappointing, but at the same time, I don't mind because I come over the top with like my white ink or um, like my gold glitter spray. So I'm not too fussed about that anyway. I kind of don't mind having that solid background. Add a bit down here. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with a lighter blue. This one's called Bahama Blue. I'm kind of just fill in any spots where it's looking a bit. How are you going? I'll see how it looks at the end. I'm not even sure if I'll need to go in with that second layer, depending. 
might just add a bit more of the black in and it might be enough to boost it. Yeah, you kind of play around, add your colors, see how it's looking. All of that good stuff. Alright, I'll add a bit more black in and we'll just see how that looks. Once I add a bit more black. Okay, oops, I've just realized. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in with that black. Okay. All right, let's go back in now. And deepen some of this black area up. Okay, I will come back in, I think, with the pink. Deepen that up a little bit as well. Okay, let's do that. The pink is quite dry, so I'm probably not going to get much out of it. But, it's okay. Do what we can. I need to go and buy another couple of packets. They are well used though, I've got to say. I use them all the time. And they have lasted me a while. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is wait for that to dry a little bit. Then I'm going to come back in with my gold spray and give that a spray as well. So I will be back as soon as I give this a dry off. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is give it a spray with my Kaisercraft Gold Spray. I um, absolutely love this spray. I've actually got it in a few different colors now, but the gold is my favorite. So when you're using it, make sure you give it a really good shake, obviously to get that pigment um, mixed up in there. So what I'm gonna do is cover that page. Even though I've got the washi tape, I don't want any overspray um, on there. So yeah, basically all I'm gonna do is give it like a spritz 
um, to give it a fine mist and then I kind of half spray if that makes sense like a half push and it kind of gives it like droplets around um, which I really like as well so basically I'll hold it back about 30 centimeters give it a spray and I'm gonna come from this angle down here give it a spray and then yeah do these little half kind of spray droplet thingies as best as I can there we go give it a drop Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't want the big one. That's all right. All right, so now that I have done that, I'm going to also come in with a little bit of my white ink and just drop a few little kind of stars around, I guess. So let me find that ink. There it is. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to use my, oh, what do you call it, silicon brush that I use for my masking fluid. So I'm going to give that a dip in to my ink. Oh, I'm using the Winsor & Newton white ink, by the way. So you can see it's like liquidy. I drop that in. I'm just going to use the back of my Posca pen. So basically, drip it onto the end. And then kind of tap it around just to give it some little droplets on there. I don't want many, just a few. So then I can come also in and just place a few around if I want. All right, that'll do. I don't want to go overboard with it. Um, put that lid on. Okay, so I can take that away now. And I can take this away as well. It always looks so much nicer once I take those little backing papers away. So I'm going to take this off nice and slowly so I don't rip the paper. anymore and once that dries I will start coloring uh, sorry I will pull the masking fluid off and then I can start coloring so I will leave the masking fluid on there until it dries um, and then I can go from there all right guys I will be back soon as that dries All right, we're back and we are dry. So this is pretty much what we're looking like. The gold is so pretty. All right, so we're gonna take the masking fluid off now. So basically all I'm gonna do is use my finger to roll it off. Now you have to be very careful with this because it can rip the page quite easily. You wanna keep it as close to the paper as you possibly can so keeping your finger moving the whole time as you're working down the page um, I'm gonna speed you up because I actually have a video of this that I've posted uh, two days ago so if you want to see a more in-depth discussion around it check out that video all right guys I'm gonna speed you up and get this masking fluid off ready for coloring
All right, guys, so I've removed all of that masking fluid now, and that is what we have left. Gorgeous background and our white space ready to add our pencil. All right, guys, this is pretty much what is left over once you peel it off. Pretty gross. It's just like a ball of rubber. So, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to get some color on this for our next video. I hope you guys liked seeing how I make a um, galaxy background with the inks in this book. All right, I'll see you in the next installment where we color our little island. All right, guys, talk soon. Bye.